fabulous comedian coming right up, Mr. Steve Craig. <laughs> tabs at your table. I'm comedian number 232. We have 200 more to go tonight, and I really appreciate you sticking around to the end of the show. Uh, oh, I didn't do the mic thing. We had a whole instructional thing on what to do with the mic stand, because we have to be told. And they want to make sure I wasn't up here like a dumbass going, it's not moving! Behind you. Behind you. Uh, I, don't, I don't have uh, notes. I have an empty card that I'm going to use periodically throughout tonight's uh, two minutes, or a minute and a half, 30 seconds, of time. Uh, they told me to wear my Sunday best tonight. I don't have a Sunday best. I have a Sunday barely good enough. This is, this is it. But like all the young kids, I shop at a and F, ample and fatness. Oh, don't, don't, oh, me. I live in Glendale. Okay, it's Glendale adjacent. You know the way that LA is Phoenix adjacent. It's a bad area though. I have two windows in my bedroom. One window has all kinds, I can see gang people every day. The other window, I see Forest Lawn Cemetery. So you know I'm waiting for the day when I look out and I see zombies fighting gang members. That's gonna be awesome. At least I get a show. People ask me if it's depressing living across from Forest Lawn, and it is. It is depressing because every headstone I see reminds me of that much more LA real estate I'm never going to have the money to afford. I can't even afford to die here. I just came back from the doctor. Is there stuff wrong with you? I have depression and anxiety, irritable bowel syndrome, Epstein Bar, Roseanne Bar. I have them all. And ultimately what's scary about that is, no matter how good your doctor is, if you're there for mental health, you ultimately have to be your own judge as to how sane you are. He'll just look at me and say, well, how do you feel? Well, right now I feel fine. Tomorrow, I might want to jump off a bridge. I guess we'll find out together, won't we? <sighs> but I'm working on a fitness career right now. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, I know what you're going to say, and you're right, I am the before picture. <laughs> People uh, want to know if I went to college. I didn't go to college. I do blame my parents for that. They told me when I was a teenager that they spent my college fund on new tile for the kitchen floor. <laughs> Sammy Dunn told me that. And now I can't help but be better. Every time I go back to Minnesota to see my parents and I look at that tile, I think, you know, if they would have settled for linoleum, I could have at least gone to a community college. That's what I'm saying. It's a little bit of money left over for that. But college is where you meet people, it's where you have relationships and sex. I had sex once. I know, it's hard to believe, but it's true. And it's, I was tripped into it. She, well, no, she offered to cook for me, because the sex by itself is, I need more of an incentive. Really, I need food. There's got to be something more in it for me. And there was. Fried chicken. And there was lots of it. And it was good, I have to tell you. The meal was the best part. Oh, thank you. People that know me are laughing because they know that it's true, which is kind of sad. Um, no. But that's how they get you, you know? They get good at cooking. I swear, my dad wouldn't be with my mom if she didn't make good pie. That's their secret. Anyway, that's my time, guys. Thank you very much.